Hi guys, time for another unboxing with me and John. We've got one from the new uh, board's book, uh -huh. Exigence. Which you have yet to read, that you are stealing. Of course I'm stealing it. I'm going to be, I'm talking to Kev at the minute. Uh, he was our press ganger back in England. Hopefully this time he's got himself a decent setup for a mic and a camera. Ah. So people will be fit to hear him whenever me and him sit down and do the actual video for Exigence. Yeah. But anyway, we have a new Trollkin Epic Warcaster. Uh -huh. This is Borka Vengeance of the Rimshaws. Uh, tro epic Troll King Caval Cavalry Warlock. That's a mouthful. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. All right, so let's crack open the box. So, again, we are faced with another resin and metal hybrid kit. Yes. I actually don't mind the hybrid kits. I like the hybrid kits too. Um, but well, the... that's a big bear. A big <laughs> Put it under the close camera, you Sorry. bloody fool. Sorry. That is huge. It's a big bear, isn't it? Yeah. It's not, it's not um, a Roman on a bear, though, which, you know. Uh, let, let's not bring up that old video. Do you remember that? Romans I, on bears? I remember that video. You remember Romans because on bears? Because it was just you sitting there going, oh my god, it's Romans on bears! Do you remember Romans on bears? <laughs> I don't think that video exists anymore. Uh, no, I think <laughs> it got nuked. It got nuked, and no one ever wanted it back. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, no, they've done some really nice fur detail on this. The, the fur detail is fantastic. Um, mm. Obviously, the lower jaw is missing, but you'll have to go in there with a, a scalpel or a craft knife and carve away some of the resin there around the, the front teeth. Oh, that, that's just a mild cleaning job. Anyone it's, that is half decent knows what they're up to. Yeah. Yeah, now you've offended people that aren't half decent. <laughs> like myself. Hello. Exactly. Um, now, what's that hanging down its back? Is that just like chainmail of some sort? It looks a bit like a sort of armor esque sort of thing, doesn't it? Mm hmm. It'd be nice if it was painted up in brass with, like, say, those bits in the middle were jewels or something. Ah, so just what little rubies, diamonds, sapphires yeah. all over the place. Although, would, would they, these guys be that sort of extravagant, do you think? They could be. They could be. Could be. Okay. I mean, like, I'll, I'll have to read the fluff on this particular character because I haven't read it yet. Even the cloth detail around the saddle, like, underneath the saddle, is. Um, like stretched leather and cloth. I, and even there, there looks to be what could be done as little gemstones, or would yeah, that just so be big leather? No, bits no, of cord. I'd say you could you could do that up as gems, maybe. Maybe mm. it, maybe it is just that extravagant. Maybe. Uh -huh. Maybe. Well, he's a pathfinder and he's tough as all trolls are. Fury five, speed seven, strength nine, mat eight. Wow. Uh -huh. uh, Rat five, me. Defense fourteen, armor eighteen. So he's quite heavy. He's got a ranged attack, which is a bomb range, 8, rate of fire 1, AoE 3, power 12, not to be sniffed at in hordes. Mm -hmm. And his weapon is called Trauma. And you'll understand why it's called Trauma in a, in so a second when we show it to it's you. It's called Trauma, okay. Yes, and his mount, the bear, is power 14. Oof. So your normal horse is what? Strength 10? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. something like that. So that's pretty damn good. I just want to do this as well. Yeah, he looks cool, doesn't he? He does look cool. Yeah, I'm going to <laughs> But when I don't drop him, he looks awesome. He does. Uh, push forward into shot. I'm going to push forward into the shot then. There we go. Yep, there we go. Pretty tall. Yeah, it's it's pretty big. It's a pretty big model. What's that? Four inches? Five inches? Four inches? About four inches four tall. Four inches. Oh, he actually sits further back when he's in the. Okay. He's got a field marshal ability, which is quite cool. Oh yeah. Immunity cold models in this model's battle group gain immunity to cold. Oh. So basically, if you're up against Kador, a lot of their cold attacks aren't gonna gonna hurt you. Yeah. Trauma has critical smite. And his mount actually has critical brittle damage. Oof. So on a critical, you get brittle damage, which is three dice. Yikes. Yep. It comes with assault, combat rider. During a combat action, it did not make a charge attack. This model can make one melee attack with its mount. Mm -hmm. So the, it's not just the charge attack the bear gets. It's when it's in combat, it will still take swipes at people. Yep. That's quite good. But we also have the paws. Big ass the paws. paws of death. Yeah. Even they have armor plate on them as well, which is quite cool. Mm. But the paw detail is actually very good. They have the pads and all in there as well as the claws. Mm -hmm. Again, that fur detail is fantastic. Yeah, that, that is going to be an absolute joy to paint up. Yep. You, know, you might need to be a little bit canny with your green stuff, depending on the quality of the caster and the join points. I don't know. Privateer for the resin stuff. Yeah. The, the castings are flawless these days. Yep. I, I, it's been ages since I've had a bad piece of metal, or bad piece of resin yep. of Privateer. I think I've actually only ever had one miscast from Privateer. Really? Yeah. It was uh, my iron fangs from Makeda when I first started. Ah, okay. One of the, the elbow joints didn't cast upright. Yep. But you I mean, know. that's, like you were saying, that's such a rare occurrence. Exactly. Now, so. Exactly. Yep. Uh, his feet is called Ice Storm. While in Borka's control area, models gain stealth. Uh, when an enemy model without immunity cold hits one or more friendly models in Borka's control area that has immunity cold, with a melee attack, the enemy model becomes stationary after the attack is resolved. Ice Storm lasts for one round. So it's not only giving you stealth, but if someone's in combat with you and they hit you, mm -hmm. you become stationary for a round. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> it, it's, it's actually really clever, because then you're having to judge it. Do I, do I stand and let him take another swipe at me? 
or do I, do I try and finish it? And if I m muck it up, I'm stationary and he's going to hit me easier. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's checks and balances now. It's, it's weighing up the risk. Yep. So he has three spells, uh, battle charge, cost two, range self, AOE control, and it's an upkeep. While in this model's control area, models in its battle group gain counter charge. When an enemy model advances and ends its movement within six of a model with counter charge, uh, in the LOS of the model with counter charge, it can immediately charge it. If it does, it cannot make another charge that turn. I will finish this first and then you can get that. A model cannot make a counter charge while engaged. Mm -hmm. So it's basically turning all your beasts into war dogs for Kador. Cool. Right, what did you drop? I, I dropped the main body, but we've all right, already we, showed We've it. already seen that. That's fine. I got a little droppy. You got a little droppy? Got you got a little, a little bit like Warren? Got a little droppy. Were you channeling Warren for a second? I was. All right, show those bits weapons. under the close camera. Yep. Weapons. So these are the bombs. Yes, those are the bombs. <laughs> why the bombs. Don't know the bombs. The bomb, bomb, bomb. The bomb, bombs. Yeah. So we have his it's fist holding the, the bombs on a, a rope. It looks like a little bull in this. A what? Bull in this. A what? Uh, three lead weights tied together oh, by a rope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. swing it around and it trips someone up. Yeah. So this will not only trip you up. They will explode. They will explode. It's awesome. They explode. Uh, we also have the, the big weapon. Which was called trauma. Yeah. This would cause some bloody trauma. It would cause trauma if I dropped it on my foot. Never mind, I'd use it in the game. Yes, but you're not going to club baby seals with it. All right, okay, yeah. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Referencing old videos all over the place today, guys. Yeah, I've noticed that. Um, so yeah, that's trauma. And yeah. It's just a big... It's a big lump of iron. Big, ugly lump of iron. Again, the detail is very good. It, it doesn't need a lot of detail on the weapon itself just because it is just so brutal looking. Yeah, that but that, that's the point of troll buds. You know, they're, they're not... Crafting some refined light steel sword. No, give me a rock on a stick. I'm happy. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, uh, <clears throat> next spell uh, called Frost Hammer. Uh, cost two, range is a spray, eight, uh, power 12, and it's an offensive. Uh, Frost Hammer causes cold damage on a critical hit, and model becomes stationary for one round unless it has immunity to cold. Hmm. So this guy's is a lockdown cat or a lockdown warlock. He's a very anti cold sort of. He's anti cold and he's using cold, so he's locking you down a lot. Mm -hmm. His last one is called Snow Shroud. Uh, cost two, range six, and it's an upkeep. Target friendly faction model or unit gains concealment and immunity to cold. Mm -hmm. So again, if you're playing someone like Kedar, who basically is going to screw you over, yep. this is going to be good. One thing I do want to show under the close camera cool. is the paint job they've done on the front of this. Look at those big red bloody bear paws. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a really, really cool mini. <laughs> you know, and you can actually see, I think, uh, yes, that is just big leather strapping around here. Yeah. You know, uh, is there anything? No, there's no shots of the back, but if I find them on Privateer's website, I will put up a shot of it. Sure. Right, so what's um, left? We have his head, we have the character's head. Yeah. Which again, so, is quite a small piece, so it'll be hard for you to see. Yeah, but um, uh, again, with the troll bloods, it's, it's that very stoic, heavy set face. Yes. And you know. then we have the, the bottom jaw. I have the bear. For the bear. For the bear. We also have a couple other bits of the clothing. So does he have like a, a little half cloak that's... It are you looks, sure that's clothing or is that part of the saddle maybe? It might be part of the saddle. It's hard for me to tell. When you look at the box, it's hard to tell as well. Mm. Yeah, whenever you look at the box, it is hard to tell. But yeah. uh, I don't know. It, there's there's but, no join points on the bear, so I assume it's part of... Ah, they're um, going to go to his waist, which yeah. uh, you drop the main body so which we can't tell. Which I dropped the main body so we can't choke. <laughs> yeah, but uh, no. Anyway, guys, uh, that is Borka, the new epic warcaster for the Troll Bloods in Exigence. Uh, stay tuned as we will be bringing you coverage on Exigence as and when we can. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, you enjoyed that quick unboxing. And uh, myself and John are going to move on here. Drop us a comment below, and we'll see you again soon.